Dude, I cannot believe it. I was just chilling, watching my favorite gothic to streamer. And then I was involved into the drama out of nowhere. I have released a video called Double Your Damage with the Void Tech TM. And it was presenting something that I used to do literally months ago. And I used to call it a double damage glitch. I had no idea how to reproduce it, and I simply had no interest into like doing like a frame perfect digging of this type. That being said, under this video in the comment section, certain individuals sent like three dots, and then afterwards the same individual messaged me on Discord. So I was asked if I know who discovered the tag. I said that nope, I don't. The gamer said cool. Who did you both get your information from? I personally said that like I got information from nowhere. I just seen like Snapcaster's video and I decided to react to it as I was more or less aware of the existence of this interaction, yeah? So I just explained it to the guy and he's like, you are both inherently wrong. Yes, we have labeled this for months. I'm asking, all right, but what's your point? And he's like, I am the co-creator of the tech. So you know what, like for the last few days, I don't even have access to normal internet. I cannot stream on the YouTube. I am essentially mostly uploading stuff based on the footage that I recorded in the past. And this motherfucker just jumps in and trying to ego me for like being co-creator of the fucking glitch, bro. Shut the fuck up. And after that, he got pretty upset. He said that he's releasing here. You have the tech name. But you know what? Let's give it our own name. Let's call it Petty Drama Tech. That one is more fitting than the original name of the tech at this point. What he did next, he went onto certain popular discords. He called me a tool. Uh, he said that he's releasing the Petty Drama Tech publicly. And then he released a macro script that allows for the execution of the tech. He basically said that like he's supposed to be given credit where the credit is due. Yet again, let's go back to these screenshots. There is no request for any sort of the credit whatsoever. And to be honest, I wouldn't fucking mind make another video with him if he would provide more information. Here is a thing though. This stupid shit researches glitches and then keeps them for himself. And then when someone independently going to find out the glitch, he is getting fucking upset that he is not credited. Instead of releasing the glitch to the public with all the documentation that he has, so from software can either fix the glitch or just like a people are aware what's going on in the game, this guy is just thinking of himself and that's fucking it. All right, so since we have the lore of the petty dramatic covered, let's talk about the glitch itself. So the whole thing is essentially working the way that you can freeze the frames of your character for the sake of to release unreactable type of attacks or make your character have infinite amount of the iframes. It kind of looks like lag and the way how we can execute this glitch is, wait. I'm not fucking telling you. All what you need to know is if someone is essentially doing some weird ass shenanigans and they are fucking lagging and they're releasing multiple attacks, just remember that a block button is fucking free. On Steam, you are just opening the overlay. Here you have view players button. You click it. You have the recent games. And here you have the list of people that you recently met. This is person that I have recently played against. I just click on the profile. Then I go here to the drop down menu and then I click block all communication. Then I confirm. You won't get connected to this player ever again. I want to give my thanks to the person that discovered this glitch because it is probably going to be fixed at some point. And even if not, then people are going to be aware what to pay attention to. So, hey. That's a huge W. Spreading awareness about glitches, tech and so on is important because the more aware the overall community is, the more likely it is that like certain things going to get fixed. That being said, no one is an owner of the tech. No one is fucking creator of the tech. You can essentially find a glitch or technique within the game, but it was there all along. What you can do is to be the first person that covers something and then you'll be most likely remembered as a person that discovered it, even though you might be not the first one to do that in the first place, but it is how it works. All right, 
I am done with this petty shit. I'm back to my gothic playthrough and yeah, I will be back with the live streams once I'm gonna get my internet back. Have a good one, guys. Yeet.